So so now you playing sports at, at uh well you, you say you with the HU, right? Yeah. Now now how did you get kicked out of it? What was the reason behind that? Caught up with the wrong niggas, you feel me? The niggas that I love to this day, you feel me? But basically I took some shit, took the rap for some shit another nigga did, bro. Some other nigga shit. He had it. The, the other niggas had the shit, but I took it because they was on probation type shit. So it was just like, I don't know. It ain't mine. It ain't mine type shit. And it was my whip. And that's where the drugs was found at. So I had to take the fall for that shit. So now you caught by, you know, campus security? This nah, thing, okay. You say it was in your class. You know the, uh, so you want me to tell that story too? <laughs> yeah, take us. Uh, right, we were, how you get kicked out of, out of college? All right, so you know uh the the orange jump. I gotta they gotta be through this on my phone. Uh, so goddamn, you know where they have the harbors and shit. How they got the harbors outside of the, the campus or whatever. All right, so the harbors the harbors is an apartment complex that sit right outside of Hampton University uh campus or whatever, like right across the street from the library type shit. So uh, I'm I'm pulling out of there. It's like one, two o'clock in the morning. You feel me? We leaving the party. I got I got my little cousins with me and shit. So we uh we leaving. The police in front of us type shit. So they pull over and shit. I'm like, what the fuck are they doing? So I I pull up. I keep going. You know what I'm saying? By the time I get to the stop time, right there at the out, outside of the harbors, going across the street where like the little uh where the subway and new to you and shit used to be at. The uh, they cut their lights on and pulled me on. Like, what the fuck, bro? So that's how they caught me, goddamn. But I mean, they found the weed on the other side. But like I said, niggas, we had to do, what we had to do, bro. Everybody just was doing, it's an on no situation. You feel me? Right. And that shit, that so shit, dead ass take- got that shit, dead ass changed changed my life for real, for real. I so feel like. like- I feel like if that shit if that shit wouldn't if that shit wouldn't happen, I probably wouldn't even be rapping for it. For it. I still be in school trying to play sports and shit. So now you get caught on campus by the police or campus police, like campus security. I mean shit, harbor's really not the campus, but I get caught by the school police. Then the crazy part about it is they took they took my weed. I mean, not not my weed, but they took the weed, dumped the shit out. You feel me and all that, and told me that was it. They just told me I was banned from the harbor type shit. That's all they said. So I still was going to you know what I'm saying going to football practice and shit. I ain't paying that shit no mind. Friday morning of that same week at like eight o'clock, they called me like come to the dean office. I'm like, what the fuck? They like drop everything, come to the dean office right now. I'm like, what the fuck? What the fuck going on? So I go in there, they like. You seen your letter? I'm like, my letter? Yeah, I know I ain't seen no fucking letter. So I go in the dean office and shit. She passed me the letter and shit. The letter said I had to be off campus by 5 p.m. You get caught. How many of y'all in the car, actually? Y'all in the car, right? Yeah, it's four of us, including me. Now y'all caught by campus, camp, campus police. Nobody taking, nobody owning up to it, though. Like, like, this my shit or whatever. Yeah. Cause what? So nah, you said cause they on probation. Yeah. They on school probation or like legal nah, probation? like legal probation. Okay. So now y'all could you take the charges for them, right? It won't even. It won't even no charge. They told me I was just. Ban- I told you they took the gas. And shit. They dumped this shit out on the ground and shit. Scrubbed it with their boots and shit. And told me I was banned from the banned from the harbors, bro. Yeah, on God, on everything I love, bro. That's exactly how it went down, bro. They told me I was banned from the harbors, and that's that's it. That's all they told me. Then, like I said, that same week, this was on a this was on a Sunday, Monday type shit. That Friday, I got a call at eight o'clock in the morning, like, yo, you need to get up and come to the dean's office, drop everything and stop what you're doing and come to the dean's office. And that's when I got the letter and shit saying I needed to be off campus by five p.m. Now, how but, did they know it was you if they only... Because they lied to me, bro. They played me. The police played the fuck out of me, bro. They played the fuck out of me, bro. 
They turned they I guess I guess, I guess they did I guess they did they paperwork on this shit or something and turned it into the campus shit. I told you it was campus police that caught me, but I wasn't on campus. I worked in the harbor. All right. All right. So now you get this termination letter and you gotta be out by five. Like what's what you what's on your mind? Like what you what you think about? Like, bro, bro. Tell me why my people had just left town that day. That's why I just asked you before the jump started fucking up. Did you know what Mass and Nothing was? Bro, so, I'm, I'm, so, I, 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 so I, I read a lot of this shit, right? So I'm fucked up. I'm like, yo, I'm, my people's about to fuck me up. You know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't fucked up, nigga. So I'm texting my mama and shit, you know what I'm saying? Trying to, you know, you know how you text your mama thinking she gonna got down. You the baby boy, you know what I'm saying? You been texting apologizing for the shit, getting mad and all that shit. No, sir. It ain't go like that. <laughs> so she tell me they they, they supposed to be gone for gone for the next week and mass of nothing. And she had the little resort shit. So I'm talking to the dean. I'm like, yo, I don't got nowhere to go. I can't. I ain't got no ride or nothing. I can't just leave, bro. This like the this like the the beginning the beginning of my sophomore year. The first week back at school, bro. This ha this happened the week before school started. But I went to the dean office. The end of the week, the, oh, the first week of school. So goddamn, I'm telling I'm like, yo, I don't got them, I ain't got nowhere to go, you know what I'm saying? I don't got nobody to come get me. So I had to go through this process that they give me an extra week to goddamn stay in my dorm and shit. So after that, I had a, uh, a hearing and shit, you know what I'm saying? And my mom and my mom and pops was in that junk. My mom in there crying and some more shit. They told me they're going to get back to me. And you know what that letter said that I got in the mail, goddamn it. <laughs> Expelled, nigga. They kicked my ass out. So now your parents come back from their vacation trip. You kicked out of school. You going back home. Where, where you at with it now? I went back to my mama crib. Back to square one. I told you, to mama. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I went back to my mom's crib, but I started uh, going to Thomas Nelson and I was hooping there. I, I played football and basketball, but I went to school for football. But you know what I'm saying? I still could hoop. So I went to community college, and I was uh, still going to class and shit. You know what I'm saying? Then uh, I had a class that was online type shit. So I ended up failing that shit. So at that point, I couldn't play basketball. So I took the class again. I failed that bitch again. You know what I'm saying? So I still wasn't able to hoop. So now I'm like, yo, you know what, bro? I can't hoop. I'm about to just start wasting my time, you feel me? Like, fuck this shit. I'm done with this school shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, and that was it. 